Uh, now in part six, I would like to talk about uh, the case where your functional is not differentiable because uh, up to now uh, we talked about uh, that uh, we said that if we just minimize the functional, I mean, if you minimize it with respect to y, this one is equal to uh, zero for any functional. For example, here I use this functional uh, at y is equal to that non-dominated element. This is that non-dominated element. You get zero. But here we replace the uh, derivative because we cannot um, find the derivative of a non-differentiable function. For example, uh, for this function, uh, this is one derivative, this is another derivative, and it could have many other derivatives where we call it subdifferential. I put it like this the set of all gradients, subgradients is subdifferential. Uh, so we want to extend our functional, all of our results, all of our theorems, to the case where, where y evaluated at y bar is not differentiable. And that's why we define the, all the non-smooth calculus and use all of them. So if we want to minimize f of x, again, we use our cones, BP cones. This is our BP cones that we always use. If x bar and y bar is a locally strongly non-dominated solution, if and only if there exists a neighborhood such that the functional attains its minimum. I mean, this is the result that, uh, this is a corollary that we have used from uh, one of our theorems. And uh, uh, so they need to know some, some, some concepts from non-smooth analysis and how they are related to each other. For example, this is the normal cone. This is the normal cone of this set, of this set. And so, uh, so we gather all, all directions that have, I mean, the angle between this, this one and any point in, in the set is greater than 90 degrees. And if we collect all of the such such vectors, then it's a normal cone. And for example, here the normal cone is this set, if evaluated at this point. So normal cone at this point, normal cone at this point, normal cone at this point could be different. And uh, that's why, I mean, uh, Rockefeller and uh, his uh, student, uh, they define the subdifferential, they we use it in uh, differential inclusions, in control theory, we use it in optimization, we can use it here in, in, uh, in multi-objective optimization. And so it's just generalization of the derivatives to non-smoothness, when, when we have uh, non-differentiability and non-smoothness. Uh, so if we if we collect all all those uh, uh, gradients subgradients that 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 is uh, that is lower than f, for example, all of these could be your subgradients. If we collect all of them, you will see that we call it subdifferential. And uh, so if it is continuous, if f is a continuous function, then subdifferential is exactly the gradient. If it, if there is no difference, and it's not set valued anymore. And uh, so we define subdifferential, and all of these are subgradients, this one, and many of them. So it's, it's a set. So it's set valued. And the subdifferential of indicator function is interesting for us because it is exactly the normal cone that I, I was just talking about. And uh, so, uh, so we generalize our, our results uh, 
so if L is a Lipschitz function, uh, if L is Lipschitz, then the subdifferential of our of one of our um, functionals is inside the subdifferential of the other functional, and uh, we can use many different uh, ideas. Uh, I mean, all of the subdifferential calculus uh, are valid uh, from now. And uh, we need some other definitions, such as epigraph, uh, approximate normal cone, which is a IOFE ap approximate normal cone, is a kind of normal cone. And uh, also subdifferential uh, and co-derivative. So instead of derivative, you know, in Fermat, uh, uh, Fermat theorem that we uh, we are aware of in high school, we know it from high school. Uh, from there, we need a differential, differenti differentiable function. But here, it could be discontinuous. So we can we can talk about uh, by uh, co derivatives instead of derivatives. And that's why minimizing uh, f of x, uh, we want to generalize the Fermat for non-smooth when, when uh, any of our functionals are non-smooth. Again, we use the BP cone for our cones. Uh, and uh, for example, in the theorem, uh, it says that um, you just need um, y star to be inside your subdifferentiable, which is now which is now this one. So in in the continuous case, you say okay um, when you divide it by when you differentiate it with respect to y, it is equal to zero. But here there is no differentiable things. We need subdifferential. So it's a sub uh, it's a set valued, and that's why e equality is now. Uh, an inclusion. And uh, I mean, the proof is very simple. I mean, the, uh, when, the, when you want to find uh, such a function, if you use it, uh, the functional that we, that we know. And um, after working on that, we can obtain the, the corollary as well, that, that uh, uh, if S is a subset of a Banach space, and f is Lipschitz, f is Lipschitz, so and attains a minimum over s uh, at x bar, then zero belongs to the subdifferential plus n.